breaking, Alabama just pissed off every welfare leech in their state with brilliant new rule, welfare leeches are sucking their teeth at the Alabama government thanks to a new rule that just ruined their lifestyle. Lawmakers have began the process of stopping widespread welfare abuse to prevent people from turning into lazy, scandalous, no priorities ever, I ain't getting no damn job, welfare queen heathens. The point is to reduce the number of people receiving benefits and get people back to work. In order for this to be successful, there needs to be a surplus of available jobs. In order for this to really be successful, the jobs need to pay people more than what they would get on welfare. Does Alabama raise minimum wage or lower the amount of benefits people can receive? If you look at it from a people point of view, then you can see that playing the system is actually hard work. You need to have half of a brain to fool the system into paying you for free. Take into account the lack of responsibility the government places on people and the inability of the government to successfully determine who really needs benefits and you have a concoction full of fraudulent cases and people milking the middle class workers tax monies. Look at it this way, if you can earn $40,000 working full-time at minimum wage, or get $40,000 in free money from the government, then wouldn't you stay home too? Why would anyone work a job paying that low if they can just fill out a few forms and get the same amount of money each month for doing nothing? Pair that with lower rent, cheaper bills, and any low-income socioeconomic benefit you can find and it's almost like you're banking $70,000. It must be nice to have Comcast for under $10, which I believe is what happens when you're on the system. When you think about it like that, then no wonder the no-skill-having fools aren't going to work. We're paying them to stay home. Alabama seems like they're trying to reduce the amount of people sucking welfare money like leeches drinking blood, but they better have enough jobs to go around. Some people fall on hard times and use government assistance to make sure they stay on their feet until they find a job, but some people abuse the system and refuse to live an honest life. But what would you do if you had minimal skills and got paid to sit around on your new iPhone all day? In Alabama, lawmakers have taken steps to stop the widespread visibility of welfare queens. Thirteen counties saw an amazing 85% drop in food stamp users after new work requirements were put in place via AL.com. In these Alabama counties, all users of the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program who were classified as able-bodied had to perform so many hours of labor a week in order to maintain their benefits. It might take some time, but the government should require people to get medical exams or send doctors on home visits and require people to have a medical checkup to ensure that people really are fit for work. If they are fit for employment, then start taking benefits away. Force people to survive. Make them get a job and offer something productive to society and have them pay taxes using simple logic, Alabama's lawmakers realized that welfare users would gravitate towards full-time work after experiencing forced labor done merely in order to receive benefits. Paid labor is better than unpaid. Obviously everyone would prefer to be paid for their work. And also obvious is the fact that if the government will pay you to sit home, then naturally some people would prefer that option, even if they're stuck living in a rancid neighborhood and their house is infested with fleas. But hey, got that new iPhone. That's all that matters. Maybe throw in a pair of Jeezys to look fresh in the hood. If you're really lucky, then you can turn your shopping cart into a barbecue grill and be the life of the trailer park. According to the numbers, on January 1, 2017, there were 13,663 able-bodied adults without dependents who received food stamps. By May 1, the number decreased to 7,483. In the 13 counties that put work requirements in place, between January and May 2017, the food stamp participation numbers went from 5,538 to 831. Sounds like a lot of fakers playing the system. But hey, can you blame them? The government allows people to play the system. The government needs a group of people to always be poor. The Democrats especially love poor people. Democrats beg poor people for votes like poor people beg middle classers for change. They're the same people, except the Democrats in politics earn a living. May not be an earnest one, but at least they're working. Then again, is anyone's job in politics an earnest living? Just remember, in order to get people off welfare, 
then you need to pay less in welfare. Make it worth it to get a job. If a person is minimally skilled and has the option to sit home for the same amount of money, or more, then why would they ever go to work? Why do you work? I do it because I can earn more than welfare can pay me. If a minimum wage job was all I could get, and welfare paid me the same slash or more to stay home, then f asterisk ck it, I'd play the system too. Pass me that wig and call me a welfare queen. I'll take a double wide trailer and some kid rock to go with it. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.